up you to the T. It's Gary, baby. Oh. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Tamar Braxton, she's back in the news again, y'all. They're saying, y'all, that Tamar said that her ex-husband, Vincent Herbert, was jealous of her success. Now, they're saying, y'all, that, you know, he was her former manager. And, you know, she used to call him her husband But she's saying that, you know, he was jealous of her career and stuff. And it was um, unbearable to work with him and what have you. And she just... Had to take off for a little while, you know, and she asked to get another manager, but um, they said Vincent was not for that and what have you, so I guess this would make things a little rocky with her. But in another story, y'all, they got about Tamar Braxton, that's out. they're saying that her ex-husband, um, Vince Herbert, you know, shaded um, her um, current or uh, her ex-boyfriend, now David Adafesso. Now, they're saying there was a, a, a um, text messages that was leaked. And they're saying, yeah, that David and Vince had a conversation about David's behavior toward Tamar as well as David being a part of their son's life. Now, they're saying the alleged messages also revealed that David asked Vince about where he could ship Tamar's belonging, to which Vince replied he would not be giving him an address for um, Tamar for her safety. And they're saying Vince wrote, we're not friends and we will never be after hearing how you treated Tamar. They're saying my conversation with you yesterday was respectful and honest. And you never mentioned what you said to her, how you threatened her, and then called the police on her as if it wasn't you on the tape that I heard threatening to kill Logan's mother. Then they said the text message also continued. They said that after I make sure that Tamar and Logan's belongings are cleared out of your home, there is no need for you to contact me, nor will me to contact you. And he said, I trust that you will have her watch that's in your car, various boxes in Logan's rooms, and everything else packed neatly. So we can have this done privately and quickly. Mm. So, t- to it's me, like people were trying to take up for um, Tamar, trying to help out, even though he was yeah. an ex. Yeah. Well, think about it. This man has gone on social media now. It sounds like this is going to be a case that's going to be seen in front of the courts. And he's gone and said his piece. So, it's right for Vincent to defend his ex-wife and the mother of his child. Absolutely. I agree. Really? But I wonder if the watch was an Invictus watch or what kind of watch it was. Oh, it don't matter what kind of watch. It sounds expensive, though, Brad. Uh, It was Invictus. But anyway, we (laughs) hope she gets her watch and all that stuff and and everything be okay, honey, for Tamar Braxton. Because, I mean, we like Tamar. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, I'm glad, honey, that this girl got this role. Brandy Evans, y'all. Now, it's being reported, y'all, that Kay Michelle, honey, she went to Instagram to reveal, y'all, that she auditioned for that role, Mercedes, on P-Valley. And she almost got the punch of it, but it went to actress Brandy Evans. Brandy's a very nice girl. I interviewed her. Now, she said that she is so hurt about it that she just can't really even watch the show. She said that I can't lie, though. She said that mess hurts. She said I cried about it. She said I've been hurt, depressed about it for days, for months. You know, she said that mess hurts. She said I was so close. K. Michelle added that although she is hurt, she said she's proud, y'all, that the show created Katori Hall. And um, Brandy Avis, who are both from her hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, that she got the role and stuff. And I think um, Brandy does well in the role and stuff like mm, that. I, mm. I don't know. That's Mercedes? Yeah, that's Mercedes. Yeah, yeah she does. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Brandy actually used to teach this class in L.A. called Hip Hop yep. and Heels and Strip. And so she knows how to move on a pole naturally. So mm. this girl was perfect for the part. And she's an amazing actress. Yep, she said she sent her um the school that she taught in L.A. a letter saying, y'all have a good day, baby. I'm going to start acting. So she started acting and stuff, and now <laughs> she got right. her role and stuff. So I wonder why K. Michelle didn't get it, though. I mean, they always from Memphis, and they all knew one another and stuff. Uh, I, I, I just often want to this guy got bigger things, that's all. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, he sure did, honey, because she showed up to that role. But um, but we like um, Brandon. <laughs> Congratulations to K. Michelle, though, too. I mean, she as well. She was good. All right, y'all. In my final story, y'all, Poe thing, y'all, let's continue to keep um, um, Tommy Lee, y'all, lift up in our prayers, y'all. She said she hates 50 Cent. She said he blocked her, honey, after she asked to be on power. Now, according to the story, they're saying um, former loving hip hop Atlanta star Tommy Lee, honey, is known for being honest and expressing herself. They say now she's calling out rapper 50 Cent. She said she took to her Instagram live and said that she has always wanted to be a part of 50 Cent's um, hit TV show Power. So much, y'all, that she DM'd him with ideas on how she could be added to the show. She said, quote, everybody knows that I want to be on Power, but I absolutely hate 50 Cent. I had DM'd him, honey, and she said, and I got an idea for Power. I should be Ghost Girlfriend just throwing it out there. She said, but that M- <laughs> yeah, she said that MF blocked her, honey. She said, he's such an a-hole. She said, and one thing I would have do real honey, that you'd have been good on Power. See, you Why he got to be an a-hole? Because he don't want to yeah, let her do what right. she want to do You can't be him. mad when you, when you try and, and you get blocked. You got to keep trying. Be persistent. And- yeah. 
you have to They're audition. Yeah. People are <laughs> auditioning for these roles, and a lot of only one person on the gets show. the job. I want but to if be you're a girl friend of a person, hell. she was a friend of his, honey. He could have at least gave her a letter audition or give her a part on it, though. Do you know how she, many friends 50 Cent got? Yeah, but she's different, though. I mean, we all know but Tommy Lee. We to had her on the show and everything. <laughs> yeah, but he should have put her on there, honey. I mean, she's a very beautiful girl. <laughs> Why well, you ain't got the phone number? Right, right. <laughs> y'all friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably, he probably changed his number. So, I feel so bad for her. And I like Tommy Lee, too. You know, she went I through like a lot Tommy of stuff. I like Tommy, too, but that don't mean she got to get the part as go. You know how many seasoned actresses probably auditioned for that part? Exactly. Well, well y'all just, like, I don't know. Hell, I wanted to play Ghost. He ain't returned my DM either. <laughs> oh, well, there y'all have it. I think Ghost I might have hit him, too. I ain't care who I was. <laughs> yeah, but y'all all hot about power and all that mess, honey. Talking about y'all with the bill. Now, here, Ricky had that dog on show with Ray J. Ain't nobody should be him. Y'all had to be on the damn show. See, Ricky, how they act. That's your colleagues, Ricky. You see how they act? They acting funny, baby. Uh-huh. Me and Ray J uh-huh. went in there together in the audition. Nah. nah we, he see, wouldn't uh, even come see us. So. See there, honey? Nah, I don't uh, like that kind of mess. The color of the day, y'all, is spicy apple. On the high end, you say spicy apple, and on the low, just say beautiful neon green. Y'all give it up a Gary with a T.